Hey, today we'll take a look at uh, using an HDMI image for lighting and backgrounds in uh, Corona Vendera for Cinema 4D. I've got a free scene from SlashCube here, and I'm just going to start by adding a sky, like so. And in order to place an HDMI on that for lighting and background, I need to come down to my materials, Corona Light Material. I'm going to open that up, and under the emission slot, we want to load in texture. I'm going to use a texture from uh, HDMI Hub. It's a free one they have for download. Load that in. And I'm going to drop it onto my sky. And let's render that in the picture viewer. And what you'll see is the image is used both as a background and as the lighting for the scene. Um, if you did want to increase your preview quality here in the real-time view, by the way, all you need to do is uh, choose the material and go in there and change the preview settings. This is uh, Cinema 4D, of course. It's not related to Corona, but just in case you haven't seen it before, uh, choose the quality you want. That can be handy when you want to adjust the HDRI, depending how clearly you need to see it, because what we can do is... Uh, using the tag for that material, we can rotate the HDRI to set it up anywhere we like, and when we re-render, it will have changed the background, and of course our lighting will have changed too. If you want a, a little bit more control over this background image, what we can do in the material is uh, swap this over to a filter, and that will let you adjust things like gamma, contrast, brightness, and similar, uh, all of which will affect the way the image appears in the background and the lighting too. So the last thing we'll take a look at is, let's say I wanted to keep this as my background image, but I want to use a Corona Sky for the lighting. Uh, or indeed another HDRI, but I'm going to use uh, Corona Sky as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and add a Corona Sky with the shortcut icon I've created. And I'm going to bring the intensity down because uh, I know it's going to be too bright compared to my background. Uh, let's just set it down there. Now, in order to uh, have this visible in reflections, refractions indirectly, I'm going to move it up top above my Corona Sky that I want to use just for lighting. And then on this one, I'm going to add a Corona Compositing tag. So we go to Tags. Corona Tags, Corona Compositing, and all I need to do is turn off Scene by GI. Now this means it will not contribute to the lighting. Uh, it will be seen directly, it will be seen in Reflections and Refractions, so uh, I can turn off Cast Shadows too. And uh, because of the order of priority in the list, um, what will happen is that our Corona Sky here will be seen in GI, it will cast uh, it will cast the lighting into the scene, but uh, it won't be visible in our background. Let's just go ahead and render that to take a look. And of course, I could replace the Corona Sky tag with another Corona Light uh, material with a, a different HDRI in it if I wanted to have one HDRI shown as the background and one HDRI used to uh, calculate the lighting. Uh, and just to illustrate the point, let me just... Uh, raise the intensity and re-render. I've adjusted the Corona Sky only, and what you'll see is our background image hasn't changed at all, but uh, our lighting has got uh, much brighter. And that's how you can uh, set up using a different image for visibility and lighting. Now I will note it is uh, dependent on the order that you list them. If you wanted to make it order independent, you could of course just add a second Corona compositing tag, and here we'd specify we turn off everything else that we wanted. Uh, so basically, this would be the inverse of this tag, uh, and then it won't matter which order we put them in. Of course, it's generally easier just to have the one compositing tag and just make sure that your directly visible sky is on top and your the one that generates lighting is on the bottom. Either way will work entirely up to you. 
And uh, that's really all of us to using HDRIs for lighting and background images in Corona Vendor for Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.